Hey guys, what is going on today? Bojo here, and we are back for our NHL 16 BGM following the Philadelphia Flyers as we are about to start our resign stage here after a pretty exciting NHL Year 5 draft where the Flyers made a huge trade with the LA Kings, trading away TJ Oshie and a second round pick and moving up to first overall in the draft to draft uh, a, a medium potential elite sniper in Grantham. So we do have some morale to go through here before we get started. Obviously, Ryan Stanton is a part of our team right now because uh, we did pick him up in that trade for, um, for, 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 for that first overall pick from the LA Kings since he was not happy. He was a 73 overall. He was actually really disgruntled, but he is a top six de potential defenseman, so he can actually be a nice little depth guy for us if we so be it because he does have some nice defensive stats. So, uh, Ryan Stanton, uh, you know what? We, I believe we got a fair deal with the trade, so don't let me down. Negative effect. Or he already hates us. And now, Jake is not happy that we chose to trade away TJ Oshie, but unfortunately, Jake, that's how it has to happen. It was a hard decision. I'm sorry it affected you that way. Like I said, that was it was a hard decision, Jake. We had to go through it. There was nothing I really could have done in order to help you out there, but, you know, that's the breaks. Them's the breaks. Unfortunately, and we are in a downward trend on our players as well for uh, morale, but whatever the case. So, Oshi is now gone. Let's go in the resign stage here, and let's see what this Philadelphia Flyers team can do here in the resign stage. So, like I said in the previous video, it's not going to be mainly like a sign guys and then, just, you know, make trades in the offseason. It's going to be like a sign and drop players off and see what we can do here with this squad. So, uh, let's take a look here for the goaltenders and let's see what we can bring and do here all right so we have uh steve mason and michael neuverth michael neuverth does need to be re-signed all right so how much money we have 30 million dollars here we have way more than enough michael neuverth one more year left at 1.9 uh you know what newbie that's a pretty good deal for you uh one and then another one yes yeah, so i can knock you down like 1.825 for neuverth that should be a good deal for him once again another one year deal Sign him just for this year to see what happens because then Mason Neuvert will be up at the end of their deals once again. But this duo has been doing a pretty good job for us goaltending wise. All right, so Soli signed for another year. Next year is going to be the big year to, to see what happens with Solars. But we have Matei Tomac and Vixton right here as well. I, do we give up on Matei Tomac at this point? Because, you know, he's 24. But then we have a medium potential in Vixton, who's two years younger in, than Matei, and uh, four overalls less. I think we do. Matei, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to release you, but I am going to sign Vixton to be the backup here, but not for long. We're going to see what happens with Vixton. Uh, well, he has to be on his entry-level deal, so I don't know if we're going to let Vixton play or not. I guess we should. He is going to be for three years, but... Uh, when it comes to uh, McBride's time, we'll have to see. But for right now, we'll sign him to the entry-level deal. But here is our one draft pick from that past draft at 18th overall, which I believe was the draft pick that we got from the Winnipeg Jets in that deal that got us Nick Patan and a first sending away. Uh, who did we send away? Was it... Luke Shen, I believe, that we sent to Winnipeg, I think. But picked up Howard McBride, which is a nice little goaltender here, 18 years old. First overall pick, uh, first round pick, 18th overall by the Flyers. So not too shabby right there. We'll leave him on sign for right now once he becomes, you know, like 70 overall or something along those lines. Then we'll sign him. But for right now, we'll see what Vixton and Stolars can do as the goaltender tandem will uh, progress in the AHL. All right, so now we get to the nitty gritty here with our defenseman. All right, so like I said, you guys decide to keep this defensive core intact, and that is what I'm going to do. So Travis Sanheim, low potential to become elite. He's still a top four defenseman, 87 overall, and he only wants four years at $4 million. I think, Travis, I can get you for, you know, if I sign up for a couple more years, it doesn't look like he's going to uh, progress all too much. So he might be that... For the, he might be the top four defenseman on this team. I kind of wanted him to be a top two, but maybe Hag will be the top two guy that we need. And he's making five mil. So we want to see if we can get Travis for. Let's see, how long is uh, Robert Hag signed for? 
So he's signed for one, two, three, four. Okay, so him and Ghost are signed for three years, so maybe we should qualify Sandheim first. And then uh, four years for Sandheim wouldn't be a bad idea. Five years will be really nice. That only gets it up by an extra 0 0.2 to get an extra year out of him. And that'll bring him till he's 28, 29. It's actually a really good deal, and then we can uh, decide what to do with Travis Sandheim when he's 29 years old. So let's do that. Let's do a five-year deal for Travis Sandheim. Four, and then two, so six, really. Uh, you know what? We can drop him down, see if he'll take 3.9 mil for five years. It's going to be a stretch. Actually, no, four and then two. Yeah, 3.9 mil for five years for Travis Sandheim, 87 overall. I think it'll be a really solid deal to add on our squad. 3.9 mil for Travis Sandheim would actually be a really, really good uh, price to get him for five years. Especially if he still has low potential to become elite. You know, he could definitely uh, progress really well. So Ghost is obviously the, uh, the, the old head here. He's 26, but, you know, he's still going to be a nice little defenseman here. Uh, his role is top six, but... You want, we want him to be uh, top four, no doubt. All right, Delzato, Michael, you've served us well here for as long as you've been in this organization. But right now, unfortunately, this is the time to let you go as we are going to be bringing in a new guy, a new offensive defenseman on the team. So, Michael, thank you for your time here, but you can go to free agency and get your money somewhere else. Sam Warren, though, we will sign Sam Moran for this team because we need a defensive defenseman and I also got to remember to tender qualifying offers because some of our players will get uh, morale boosts in addition to it so Moran's going to be a top six there's no question about it that Moran is going to be a top six player on this team he is medium for a top four but I really do think he's going to be a top six type of player so I think a three-year deal is actually fine at three mil so we can knock him probably down to like 2.7 I'm going to see if I can knock him down to 2.775 right there. So 2.775 for three years for Sam Moran. Cool. All right. Uh, Barbario, does he still have good stats? Is he still a depth player? Who we want? Barbario or Postma? Barbario or Postma? I would like a Paul Postma, please. Barbario, you can go. But well, I would not mind picking up Paul Postma once again for depth. When you're on a two-way as a depth player, perfectly fine with me. For Paul Postma, good. All right, Ryan Stanton, are you still considered a depth player? You're still considered a top six. Like I said, I had no intention of keeping you, and I got Postma anyway. So, Ryan Stanton, you could go test free agency as well. No need to keep you on my team. All right, Brandon Manning. Uh, you know what? I kind of want to rebuild my AHL team a little bit as well. Uh, Burroweski, I know I don't want. Yeah, I do not want Burroweski. So we can release him. Brandon Manning would still be good for the AHL team, but I think I'm going to get rid of Brandon Manning as well. I want to get some new blood in that AHL team, so we want to we make some roster cuts here. We want to get new players on the team, so Manning can definitely go. Because uh, I want to bring in these two guys right here, Gogliev and Halischuk. So, Gogliev. Mikhail Gogliev was our second round pick last year. Very late round pick, but he is a defensive defenseman, so he'll definitely take Sam Moran's spot eventually. But we want to get him in here because he's low potential for a top four. He'll be on his entry level deal, and he is 73 overall, so why not get him in here? As well as Arthur Halaschuk, I believe. Yeah, Arthur Halaschuk, once again, another second round pick from that same year earlier on in that same round. Another offensive defenseman to bring in here, so why the hell not? Let's get him in here. Get these two guys on their entry level deals. And we have two new Philadelphia Phantoms. All right, Nova Soledev, we can release him. Same thing with that uh, Pushkarayev and uh, uh, Budan's guy. We can definitely get rid of those guys next year, so that'll free up some more spots, obviously. But for right now, no defensemen need to be drafted by this Flyers team, as we are a young defensive core that does not need those type of players. Currently, as a need, but uh, Halischuk... And Gogolev definitely are going to be added. All right, right wingers. So that's it for that. All right, Wayne Simmons. All right, the Wayne train. He's a little bit, he's not happy with his, uh, you know, happy with himself right now as a morale. But you are going to be able to get that first line role once again, Wayne, now that TJ Oshie is gone. I know you're not happy with it. But four years at six mil, five years. Okay, uh, they'll bring him until he's 35. 
Wayne, I kind of want to get you on like a three-year deal if I can. Maybe even a two-year deal. Give you more money. But uh, figure out what to do with you when you're 32 years old. 33. Same age as Yoshi. One more year. Yeah, let's give him three years. Because Moran's on three years and Sandheim's on four. So, yeah, I think that'd be good. And three years, Provorov needs to be signed, I think, in two or one. So, yeah, let's, let's do a three-year deal for Wayne Train. So six and then three. So uh, I think we can knock him back down to six and then three. So almost a mil. So five points. Let's go with 5.8 for Wayne Simmons for three years. Let's see if he takes that. All right, Timu Meyer. Let's qualify him. All right, so Timu Meyer, you are 83 overall. You are still a debt player. But, I have a feeling you might get a nice little jump and be able to make it on this team. Very good defensive awareness, really good puck skills, shooting category is nice, very hard shot, fast skater. Obviously we're going to sign you, so let's see what you want. You still want a two-way, but next year you want your big boy contracts. Alright, so, uh, one year for Timo Meyer, I believe is the way to go. For him on 9.25 and then obviously whatever happens next year happens next year so team of Meyer Matt Reed once again we're gonna have another potential morale loss here but I have so many new guys coming in here like Meyer uh, Meyer Gautier Konechny Cor Cornell Noel I don't think I have a need for Matt Reed anymore unfortunately so Matt Reed, it is unfortunate, but I believe you have seen your time here come to an end as well. So, thank you for your time, Matt Reed. Appreciate it, but you can go test free agency. 33 years old is a little bit too old for me for a player of your stature. So, I think that's what we have to do. All right, Nicholas Albe Kubel. Obviously, I will qualify him. Let's get in some players. We'll get some morale boosts because of it. All right, so Nicholas Albe Kubel. Let's re-sign him. So he wants, once again, another two years. Two-way deal for Aubrey Kubel. Good. Hopefully he'll get that. All right, Talbot. Max Talbot. Still didn't retire yet. He was a good addition last year, I'm not going to lie. So let's get Max Talbot again. Uh, One-year deal on a two-way contract. Good. Uh, Ulrich, we don't need... And then Ryan White. Here's a question. Ooh, wow. Holy smokes. He was a lot better than I thought he was. Earl Grantham was a hell of a lot better than I thought he was. 80 overall already. Right out of the draft. Nice shooting category. Me and potential become elite. Yeah, you're playing in the age all right away, bud. You are playing right away. That's no question about it. Uh, Vince Connolly. Do we want to sign Vince Connolly? He'll be an unrestricted free agent next year. He'll still be playing in, like, Junior League. Uh, no, we'll, we'll wait another year on Vince Connolly. We'll see what happens. He'll only be 21 next year, so we'll see what happens with him. Uh, depending upon, uh, upon some players next year. But Ryan White. Do we really want to get Ryan White back? He is a solid fourth-line player. I really, I should do that, yeah. You know, well... Is there anybody going to take his spot, though? I don't know. I don't know if there's going to be a fourth-line player specifically to take his spot. So, you know what? Let's sign him just in case. One-year deal on Ryan White. Uh, 1.6 mil for Ryan White. He's a solid, solid fourth-liner. Uh, okay. That was the other guy we drafted. That center to uh, the grinder, actually. Wow. The grinder actually turned out pretty good in the fifth round. So, Wayne Moss was that grinder we picked up. 71 overall. Not too shabby there, but... Uh, it was Earl Grantham, right? Yeah, Earl Grantham, another nice little sniper addition right there. So he's actually going to be really good. 80 overall out of the draft. Glad we moved up for that pick. I am not regretting that pick whatsoever. All right, what do we got here? So Shen, Patan's still here. Patan is still here as a depth forward. So once again, he'll be happy in that role. Edgar Sullivan's good. Taylor Lear, he'll be probably released next year. Oscar Limbaum's doing fine. Michael Bourneval, let's see. Michael Bourneval, I don't think we need anywhere. Yeah, Michael Bourneval will be released. Brandon McMillan, the minor league scoring forward now. He's not a fourth-line guy anymore. I think somebody will take uh, 
his spot, so release. Alright, so Koontz is going to lose somewhere out, but like I said, guys, it's just it's picking and choosing players right here. Alright, uh, McDonough. I'm going to have to check out my forward core in the AHL before this is done uh, to see, actually, if I need to sign any players. Alright, so Drew's fine, Couturier's fine, Lawton, Travis Konechny, uh, Magali, Nathan Noel, Noel, Mark Oliveira, LaBerge, Eric Cornell. Alright, a lot of these guys here. Alright, Luchuk, we know we can get rid of you. Uh, how's that generous guy? 75 overall, okay. We'll probably leave him unsigned. I definitely want Grantham to play, though. Alright, Eric Cornell, obviously qualify him. Get some morale boosted. And Nick Cousins. Marling scoring forward. Yeah, Nick, I'm sorry. I'm good. Actually, you know what? I'll... Do I want to qualify him? No, I want to release Nick Cousins. Might be doing pretty good in the uh, real life NHL right now, being called up, but uh, you know what? There, I need some roster spots. Marcus Kruger, are you still, you're still a depth forward, but you still got some really nice defensive categories, so I'm going to sign you for depth as well. Let's get him one year, two way contract. That's fine with me. Uh, Generous, we're going to leave unsigned, but he was our other pick from that draft. If you guys missed last episode, he was the. Third, well, actually, he was the first overall pick in the second round since we moved back with that uh, trade with the Florida Panthers. But still, elite two-way forward there, 75 overall. He'll be making his way onto the team very, very soon as well. All right. So let us uh, advance the day here, see who's re-signs with our team, and then we'll evaluate everything again. All right. So Earl Grantham accepts Postma, Talbot, Kruger, Simmons, Ryan White, Neuverth, Hellischuk, Gugliev, Meyer, Moran, Obikubo, Sandheim, Vixton. Okay, I think that's everybody. I believe that is everybody on our team that we need to sign. Alright, so goaltenders, we have McBride as unsigned, which is good. Which was what we wanted. Alright, defensemen. Uh, we should have every defenseman signed right here. Let's just make sure. Uh, Haig, Sandheim, Provorov, Gosses, Bear, Moran, and then Bachman. We're hoping that Bachman will be able to make that, uh, jump. I think he will. With stats like that, I think he will jump next year, uh, to be that player. He's 79 overall. I can't, I can't, I cannot not seeing, uh, Ulf Bachman make that jump to be a top six, uh, player for our defense, so... I think he'll fill out there. Anybody else that needs to be signed? Nope, those guys are good. They'll be released next year. Right wingers, let's see, just double check. Yep, all those guys are fine. Meyer, Gautier as well. Grantham, he'll be a monster. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he got a nice little jump before the regular season starts too. He might be able to make it on the team. He might take Matt Reed's spot. Uh, left wingers, <coughs> McDonough, I have one signed for right now because I'm going to double check my players. And, uh, oh, Eric Cornell, I didn't sign him. I sent him out, uh, ooh. You know what? Looks like he's going to be a player next year. So, two-way contract for Eric Cornell. Max on a one-way. We'll see what Cornell does with that. And then, generous, we're leaving on sign. Okay. So, uh, let's advance the day. Let's see if we get Eric Cornell back. Uh, Cornell is good. Okay. Good, 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 good. All right, so now I can take a look at my AHL team and see exactly what's uh, who I'm going to be looking at here. All right, so all skaters in the system. I'm going to look at forwards here. Okay, so uh, main roster, yeah, we want to look at it in the system. Okay, so my centers. Do I believe Eric Cornell and Travis Konechny will get a nice little boost? I do. Somebody, one of these guys has to, some, one of these three guys has to be on the NHL team, if not all of them. So, um, if that's the case, then we have Mark Oliver Waugh as one center, Magali as another, LaBerge as another, and then somebody here is not going to make the NHL team. So they'll be the fourth center in the AHL. So we'll have LaBerge. Generous obviously could fit in, but I'm going to leave him unsigned for right now. Uh, we'll see what happens, because look at all these guys as restricted free agents next year. We'll have to see. Uh, some of them will be moving up, and then we can put Generous in the squad. So we'll let him play in juniors for one year. 
but I think that's good for centers right now. Is uh, one of these three will not make the team, so they'll go back down because I have a feeling two of them probably will. If, if not all three, but if all three of them do make it, then we can sign Generous anytime throughout the year, and he could go into our center core down the AHL, so that's fine. So, Mark Alivaro, Tim Magali, uh, LaBerge, and then probably one of the, those guys, or Generous will make out our AHL team. So, that's good for the centers. We're fine there. Uh, we have Edgar O'Sullivan as one center. Reed McDonough could be another center. Uh, LaBarbera and Kaznikov. He will be uh, obviously not signed. Let me see for the main roster guys. So, uh, Limbaum will be one. Lear, I'm not going to play. Uh, yeah, we can sign Reed McDonough. Yeah, Reed McDonough should definitely be signed right here. Okay, so Reed McDonough definitely need to be signed. So that's good. Got that out of the way. So he'll be able to play. And now right wingers, same kind of deal. Meyer, Meyer, Gautier, and Grantham apparently could make the NHL team. So we'll have to see what happens with those three guys. But then we also have Grantham. If he doesn't get a boost, he'll probably be AHL. Uh, we have Yamamoto, Mas, and Connolly. Hmm. Maybe Vince Connolly does get signed here. Yeah, I think Vince Connolly gets signed. We have a lot of snipers, it seems, on our AHL team, which is not a bad uh, idea. It's not bad. So, we can sign Vince Connolly. Even though he doesn't have good potential, we know we can ha we can change that potential around ever so easily. So, we'll sign him. Uh, Maz, <coughs> <coughs> Maz, I'll leave unsigned. I think that's it for the forwards. So, we're going to have one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm trying to think for the left wingers as well. Because Lear and Limbaum are up there. Yeah, Lear and Limbaum was one of the other guys as well. Okay. Yeah, I think we have enough. We could potentially sign another guy, but I'm not. Defensively, I think we should be fine for the AHL as well. Like, I think we're going to have... Davis, Gogliev, Hellas, Chuck, uh, Mark Alt will be another guy. Adam Comrie will be another guy. If we see any other good, like, uh, potential defensemen, we could obviously sign them. But I think we're good there. And then the uh, goaltender is going to be Vixton and Stolars. So I think we are good. Everybody is signed right now. All the things have been sent out. Turbo mode has been activated. So let us see if we can land on the advance a day situation here. Um, that's going to be tough. All right, turbo mode. Uh, whenever you decide to stop. Thank you. Let's advance uh, a day here. Let's just advance all the way to the end and begin free agency and see what's going to be available on free agency. All right, so Reed McDonough's lost morale for Exiny with his new team. Reed McDonough's game morale for re-signing. That's a little bit weird. So they gain Exiny, but they gain morale for re-signing. A little bit odd. But that is it. So all the resigns have been done. We can add up our training block. And we are ready to go into free agency here and see what is available. So if we take a look at our Flyers roster, though, that is one thing we need to do. Is let's take a look at the roster. The main roster now. See what we got. All right. So if we go to goaltenders, Steve Mason, Michael Neuverth, no changes there. Defensively, we are going to have, it looks like, we're going to have Ivan Provorov, uh, Shane Gostisbehere, Robert Haig, Sam Morin, Travis Sandheim, and hopefully Ulf Bachman as our top six defenseman there. All right, so that's going to be our defense, hopefully. And then for the forward core, what is this forward core going to look like? Let's see. We're going to have Claude Giroux, Jacob Voracek, and Wayne Simmons. Sean Gaturier, Braden Shen, and a question mark. And then it's going to be Scott Lawton, question mark, question mark. Kruger, White, maybe Talbot, another question mark. So we're going to have some, a lot of question marks right now on the main roster. There's a lot of question marks on the main roster. Only because we have a lot of these guys. We have... Cornell, Konechny, Meyer, Gautier, Noel, and Grantham. 
who could all make the jump to the NHL team this year. So, yeah, a lot of potential player forwards that can definitely get a nice little boost and will be making our forward team this year. So, uh, we do need a second line player, but we'll see what happens with those guys. And we'll see who is available here in free agency. So, let's start off here by checking out the forwards. So, we have Tyler Ennis. Uh, there are a lot of second line players that are available in this draft as well, if we want to go that route, if you guys think we need to. But, Tyler Ennis, Adam Henrique, Derek Broussard, Jeff Skinner, Tyler Toffoli and Carl Hagelin are all available here and they're all second line players which is kind of what we need now on this team somebody like a dedicated second line player if I had to pick from this list Tyler Toffoli speaks the most to me right now because he's that sniper that we need you know he's that sniper that you need uh, he's decent defensively I think he puts up good numbers uh, 50 so points on the second line is kind of what I'm looking for not too bad uh, Jeff Skinner would be asking for a lot just because he's younger. He's 27. He's asking for 6 mil. I don't know why Skinner's asking for that much. Uh, 30 goal scorer, which is nice. He definitely puts up a lot more goals. Ennis is a sniper as well, but I don't know how many points he's been putting up. He's a good playmaking type sniper as well. Only 40 points, so it doesn't look like he puts up many points. He was in the AHL last year as well, or the previous year, so that's a little bit interesting for Tyler Ennis. Adam Henrique, he's kind of a more defensive player. Carl Haglin, he's speedy, but he is kind of a playmaker, and he's already 84 right now, so if I had to pick, it would either be Tyler Toffoli or Jeff Skinner. We do have a lot of cap space, so, um, yeah, we might have to make some cap room issues here, because it looks like we might be really, really under the cap. We may have to sign some players here, but Sam Gagne is up there in free agency still. Matt Reed is up there in free agency as well. Jason Pominville, Grabner, uh, Philip Deneau. So, you know, you got some players there on forwards. Let's take a look at potential. Any really good potential players? Yeah, there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot of top nine guys who are young as well. Yeah, there's a lot of good top nine forwards here. Look at all these guys. Cashman, uh, Bouchard. Jesus Christmas, man. Look at all these guys. Look at all these, like, low 20-year-old uh, uh, top nine potential forwards here. And even this guy, too. Cave, he's a minor league scorer, but he's 81 overall. Damn, man. Uh, well, he's a restricted free agent. Same thing on Marco Dano. Uh, Winther, Mike Winther's a restricted free agent, but he's 25, so it's not really all too fantastic. And that's about it. So, you have this guy, Adam Quinn and uh, Kuklachev, who are the top six potential for us, but they're restricted free agents. Adam, Alan Quinn, but uh, as a playmaker, so... You know, you got some okay players there. Defensemen, if we need to go that route. If we need to go the route of, you know, drafting a defense or picking up a defenseman free agency. If Ulf Bachman doesn't pan out, Tyler Myers is there. Delzato is there once again. Uh, John Merrill, Bo Meester, Luke Shen, Yannick Whatever, Dalton Prout, Yoki Paka, Bertuzzo, Nestor So, you got some players there for defense if you need it. And then just top six guys for defense. Goaltender, we don't need, but let's just check it out to see. Uh, you got a lot of backups once again and some fringe starters. But as for overall wise, uh, Cam Talbot, Antti Ranta, Rito Barra, Anders Lindbach, Grubauer, and Poulin are your main guys to look at for the goaltenders. So, the good thing is, we can definitely afford one of these second line players if we so choose to go after one of them. Like I said, I stated in my case, if there is any second line player I wanted to go after, it would be Tyler Toffoli. I think he would fit out the best on our squad because Shen would be on the left and Ennis would be on, I mean, Shen would be on the left and Couturier would be in the middle. And then you have a sniper like Tyler Toffoli on the right. Or you could go with a guy like Carl Haglin, who could be a playmaker that you put on that line. Well, they have Carl Haglin listed as a sniper, but I would probably change him over to a playmaker. So you have Haglin there. Broussard, I didn't even bother to look at him because he's a center. I'd rather not move him. Well, I could move him to a wing, to be perfectly honest. It wouldn't be all too bad. So, yeah, there are some good second-line players here in free agency, to say the least. And, you know, I think we might have to make a signing here just to get on the cap floor. But, yeah, there's some good players. There's some good players for free agency. But 
you guys have seen our team there's a lot of question marks right now we're just waiting to see uh what's possibly could happen with this flyers team going into next year so we'll see what happens you guys saw free agency let me know what you think the flyers should do in free agency do you think we go after that second line player do you think that is the right move to make because a lot of those new guys moving up might be on the third and the fourth line maybe they might get a little bit better who knows but we did make the trades we re-signed our squad we know what it looks like and uh, it's up to you guys to think what we should do that's pretty much the only decision is do we grab a second line player or do we not so thanks for watching guys if you did enjoy leave a like leave a comment subscribe as always leave your suggestions in the comments below and we'll hopefully we'll get a decision for next time so thanks for watching guys see you next time